our next guest made his television debut right here, right here on this very program. He has since then gone on to become, oh my God. He has since then gone on to become a, a motion picture star and uh, he started in his own television special and is currently on a concert tour appearing August 5th right here in New York at the Westbury Music Fair. As strange as ever, folks, please welcome Bob Goldthwaite. <laughs> that won't be in. Hi, how you doing tonight? Um, it's been a very, it's been a very rough week for me because recently I found out that my toaster was possessed by the devil. Ew. Ew. It's, yeah, it, it, it's a big pain, but it makes excellent toast. A little burnt now and then. It feels good to be back on the show. I haven't been here a long time. You know, it, it was very nice because, like, lots of times when I'm, like, in a nightclub and I'm waiting to go out and the MC will go, Maybe you saw this next guy in Police Academy. <laughs> and then I walk out and people go, Ugh. <laughs> I thought it was going to be the black guy who makes the funny noises. <laughs> you know, it's like... Have you been following this? All these airplane crashes and everyone's so confused. Everyone's going, gosh, how come there's so many airplane crashes? Well, um, I got a theory here. Like, do you remember that ground? What was it about? Um, about four years ago, the air traffic controllers, they went on strike. And then um, Ronald Reagan fired them, which, um, you know, totally illegal and sounds vaguely familiar. And, um... <laughs> No. So they just hired anyone who was hanging out at the time, right? And everyone's going, geez, how come there's so many airplane crashes? How come there's so many airplane crashes? I don't know, maybe Walt the janitor is not qualified to land a Boeing 707. Yeah. I really, you know, I really shouldn't blame Reagan, you know, because blaming Ronald Reagan for the way things are today, it's kind of like blaming Ronald McDonald when you get a bad cheeseburger. <laughs> Neither of them run the company, folks. Uh, <laughs> I'm not a real big fan of the NRA. You know, are, are you following this in L.A.? They're shooting people in cars. Like, uh, I'm getting sentimental going, geez, remember the good old days when you could just stay home and get shot at? <laughs> we need more guns in this country. It's so, it's so stupid. In England, Guns are outlawed. Every year, 13 to 14 people die from gun wounds because guns are outlawed. Here, like in New York City, it's like a quarter of a million people die every year because of guns. Now, that means either gun laws work or the people in England really couldn't hit the broad side of a barn. <laughs> like, freeze! <laughs> I think if I was going to commit suicide, um, I think about suicide now and then. Um, <laughs> Mostly when I'm doing a monologue on national television. Um, <laughs> no, I don't, I don't know. I'm not going to kill myself because if I die now, like, you could all go, Oh, I saw one of his last shows, man. He had to die. <laughs> he was an artist, man. I'm going to age like Jerry Lewis. I'll be 60 years old going, ah. <laughs> If I was going to commit suicide, what I'd do is I'd go over to one of these guys, these NRA guys' house in the middle of the night. I would break in. I would take his gun and then I'd wake him up and I'd go, um, explain this. Boom! See the beauty of that? I mean, I would be dead in his living room and the cops would come over and he'd go, um. He just came in here and he blew his own head off. I think. I think he'd have a lot of explaining 
me to. I gotta get going, but real quick, like, um, you know what? Speaking of, okay, nuts. Um, Bernard Getz, here's a guy I will never understand. Subway vigilante. Like, people are going, oh, he's a hero. He shot four kids because they're robbing him with a screwdriver. You know, one of the best planned crimes of the century, you know? <laughs> I mean, I've done a lot of stupid things in my life, but, I mean, like, I've never tried to rob anyone with a screwdriver. I mean, like, what are these kids thinking? It's like, um... <laughs> Um, 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 give me all your, give me all your money. Um, give me all your money or I'm gonna make your glasses really, really wobbly. Nice to see you again. Well, um, thank you very much. You're going to be up in uh, New Hampshire soon? Yeah, New Hampshire Club Casino. I'm doing like all these <laughs> tent gigs, you know? It's like me and tractor pull. It's kind of a big dream come true. I'm sure they'll be happy to have you up there. Well, nice job. Thank come, you very much. Come back again, Bob. I'm glad things are going so good for you. Uh, what are we doing? Oh, tomorrow. It's uh, Jack Hanna and Harvey Picard, so take a nap. <laughs>